This is Michael Good from ReaperTrades.com with your daily trade recap on the 28th of Janvier. Not too much today. Should have been a bunch, but uh, I thought too much and I didn't act as much as I should have. One thing I'm holding overnight, NXWI bought near the close. It's a pump. Um, not going to say much more than that. I'll be selling it near the open, probably right after the open tomorrow. J H Y J Y H W Jayhawk Energy. This is a pump. It's been pumped for a while. Hold on, let me bring up the multi-month chart. Okay, here we have it. So it's been pumped for a long time, and this has been pumped in years past too. If you go back, can we go back far enough with this? Yeah, back in 08, it was pumped too. I think its first pump was back in 2007. Anyway, pumped from 80 cents most recently up to over $2, then it fell, then it went up, and now it's going down. I shorted uh, as Tim Sykes shorted. Uh, if you were in the Tim Alerts chat, you would have seen that I was thinking about shorting uh, right before I found out that he shorted. Uh, there were 250,000 shares available to short of this today at Interactive Brokers. brokers. And uh, that can be a good sign, especially for pumps. When there become huge amounts of shares available to short, that usually means that the promoters no longer have the shares, they've sold them out. So now it's just random idiots that own the shares. So first off, the stock's gonna dump because the promoters have sold off their shares. And the stock is also gonna dump because short sellers are gonna come in and short a bunch. So at the end of the day, I think uh, Interactive Brokers only had like 150,000 shares to short. So that means at least 100,000 shares from Interactive Brokers were shorted today and uh, remain short through the end of the day. Again, I don't know that, but that's a reasonable inference. Peaks, Pacific Health, Ethanol held overnight. And uh, yeah, I covered it as it started spike. I was a little slow, should have gotten it for an average of 206. I got 208 instead, lost eight hundred bucks so that's unfortunate or I could have covered if I'd been a little m more conservative after the first two minutes when or actually the first ten minutes or so when it didn't break below two so that's unfortunate but still only loss of 180 on the day because of my gain in Jayhawk unfortunately I, I should have been big in Jayhawk because it was pretty nice looking and it's an absolute pump and dump and with so many shares available to short there's no risk of a forced buy-in anytime soon so all that lead lead uh, leads one to think that it would have been a very good short and I just hesitated and I got only 5,000 shares short versus 10,000 or 50,000 so that's my loss and that's unfortunate, but I'll live to fight another day. Check me out next time, reapertrades.com.